Oke, okay, now we are going to solve practice problem 7.10 from Sadiku book and the question is find VT. VT is the voltage across this capacitor in the circuit. Assume that the switch has been open for a long time and is closed at T is equal to zero. So we will have two cases. The first case is when T is less than zero. Okay. So we have the switch in the open condition and because the switch has been open for a long time it will be in DC condition so okay let's write the assumptions so switch is open and then it is, has been open for a long time so we will have DC condition And so our capacitor will be short circuit, not short, sorry, our capacitor will be open circuit. Okay, so now let's redraw the circuit according to these conditions. Okay, now we have this simplified circuit. So because it is in DC condition, our capacitor will be open circuit. And because the switch is open, I do not want to draw the rest of the circuit because it will be useless. So this is our simplified circuit here. And if we take a look at this one, so we don't have a current that pass through this two ohm resistor. So the voltage here will be the same as the voltage here. And so our V here is the same as the our current voltage which is V is equal to 15 volt or because this is the initial condition we will save this as V at time 0 is equal to 15 volt okay let's save this because this will be an important value for the next calculation and now we are going to take a look at the second condition which is when t is greater than zero so let's see what can we draw from this circuit so the switch will be closed so let's write that switch is closed and then what else what else can we do here yeah, only the switch is closed. So let's redraw the circuit. Okay, so now I have drawn the circuit with the switch replaced with a short circuit. Okay, so now what can we do from here? I will set this as our ground. So the voltage here will be zero. So because the voltage here will be zero, the voltage in this node, it's re with respect to ground, will be V. Okay, so I name this node as node V and this one because it is 15 volt from the ground the value of node voltage here will be 15 and here we have the positive sign here so it has to be minus it has to be 7.5 less than the ground so this will be minus 7.5 volt so from this circuit, I want to do KCL at not V. And I will assume that the current will be flowing like this. So this is going to the right, this is going to the right, and this is going down. Okay, and the, what does KCL say? It is said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out okay there there is only one current that goes in which is here and that current will be 15 minus V divided by 2 plus not plus because we only have one current so this is equal sign and the current that goes out the first current that goes out is the current th that pass through this capacitor and remember that the formula of capacitor will be I is equal to C dV dt. 
This is for capacitor. So our capacitor value is 1 over 3, 1 third. And we have dV dt here. Okay, and then plus this current here, which is V minus minus 7.5 divided by 6. And to remove all the denominator, all the denominator, I will multiply all of this by 6. So I will have this one will be 45 minus 3V and this one will be 2 dV dt plus and this one will be V plus 7.5. Okay, let's rearrange this. So I will have 45 minus 7.5 that will be 37.5 and this one will be 2 dv dt plus 4 v because we move this minus 3 v to the right hand side okay we can divide both sides by 2 so we will have 18 point 75 is equal to dv over dt plus 2v. Okay, now we have first order differential equations and an initial condition with which should be which we can solve. Okay, now let's solve this differential equation. Okay, so far we have this first order differential equation here, and this is the initial condition. Okay, to solve this, I want to introduce you to some tricks. Okay, so this is a, an addition of some, this one will be a differential, differentiation of this function. So this is a f prime, and this one will be an f. So... When we differentiate this V, we will get dV over dt, right? And remember that when we have something like this, U plus V, when we differentiate this, we will have U V prime plus U prime V. So I want to express this as an addition and it will be differentiated. So how to do that? So we can multiply both sides by e to the 2t. So let's see what can we do there. So I will have e to the 2t. And we will have e. So this is equal sign. e to the 2t. dv dt. Then we will have this one plus 2e to t or multiplied by v. Okay, and if we take a look carefully here, if we name this as u and this one as v prime, this one will be u prime, right? And this one will be v, and that exactly what a uh, multiplying differentiation expand to. So I will have 18.75 e to the 2t and this one will be d dt of e to the 2t multiplied by v. So this one is u and this one is v, right? So if we expand this, we will get this one. Okay, so now because we differentiate this by time, we can integrate both sides with respect to time. So integrating both sides with respect to time will remove this dt, t over dt. So I will have e to the 2t multiplied by v is equal to integral of this function on the left here, 18. 
0.75 e to the 2t dt. Okay. Now let's calculate this. So I will have e to the 2t multiplied by v is equal to this one. So I will have 18.75 divided by 2 e to the 2t plus some integration constant. Okay. So now we can divide both sides by e to the 2t. So I will have v is equal to this one will cancel. So I will have 18.75 divided by 2 plus c1 over e to the 2t. Okay. So I will have v which is a function of time. And this one will be 9.375 plus, and I can rewrite this as negative exponential. So I will have C1 e to the minus 2t. Okay, so now our homework is to find this C1 here. How? And uh, we need to plug in this initial condition. Okay, our whiteboard is full. Okay, let's rewrite this. Okay, now to find out this C1, we need this initial value condition. And we know that that V0 is 15 volt. And this means that we when we plug 0 into this function, the result will be 15. So I will have 9.375 plus the integration constant multiplied by e to the minus 2 multiplied by 0 and that will equal to 15 and this one will be cancelled to 1 so this one is 1 and so we will have 9.375 plus c1 is equal to 15 and so I will have c1 is equal to 5.620 5. So we can rewrite that Vt into this one. So I will have 9.375 plus 5.625 e to the minus 2 t. And this is the condition, this is the Vt when t, when t is greater than 0. Okay, now we need to find this one. Okay, so we will need to calculate when t is equal to 0 0.5. And that is easy because we just need to plug this into this function. Okay, so I will have v when t is 0 0.5 and that will be 9.375 plus 5. 0.625 e to the minus 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 okay and to calculate this we just need to plug this into calculator okay let me get my calculator and tell you the result and that will be about 11.4444 okay 11.4444 okay we have solved this problem so hopefully I did not make any mistakes in my calculations uh, let me know in the comments if I did thank you for watching and bye bye